add a mailing boss form to another website or blog. All right, so let's say you have a, a website or another blog created on another platform other than ours. All right, and you still want to use mailing boss so that you can gather lists and gather subscribers that way. So I'll show you how to do that. So first we want to go into our list and go to the list that we want to edit. So we're going to the entertainment newsletter and then go over here to forms and click on view. So it's going to bring you to this page. Now we're in the subscribe tab right now. So let's say we want people to subscribe using the form. All we do is copy and paste here. Or actually copy here. And we also have an iframe version if you rather use that and if you're familiar with this, okay? Now, what we want to do now is go to our page. So let's say this is our blog page. And I want to add it right here. So in our platform, how we do is we'll go here to our add element, go to apps, and then we'll go to add HTML. Whatever platform you're using, you want to go into where you can edit the HTML on that page, wherever they have, where you can input your own. Okay, so here I'll just go here, right click, edit HTML, I'll delete this, and I'll paste that form here and press confirm. So that's going to give you this form right here. All right, and you can choose if you want to make it smaller or not in our platform, but let's say you're on another page. You can set it there, and then once people enter their information in here, um, it'll go straight into your subscribers just like anything else. All right, and that is how you configure a mailing boss form onto another platform. All right, I will talk to you next tutorial.